Two-man game right there. Kyrie Irving all tied at 78. It'll count if it goes, and it goes. Kyrie Irving with a half-court bomb. B.A., he shot this one, and he knew it was going in. You're talking about range. This is not a heave. This is a shot from Kyrie. Cavs have the lead. One quarter to go in Detroit. Another try to set a screen. Now Kyrie goes. He's so much more than just a shooter. Paul George gets it off in time. Oh, he banks it in. It's good. Paul George at the buzzer. One point one on the inbound from half court. Clearly gets it off, too. No doubt about it. We head to the fourth quarter. Clippers up by 11. At the top of the circle, not able to handle the pass. Look at Eddie Jones, and he fires. He's gone! It's a three for Eddie Jones to end the half. They'll review it. Well, Doug, you were right on that last second play, but Rasheed Wallace not able to handle the pass, and it led to the steal. Well, if this holds up and this counts, what a turnaround. Ed, first, first of all, Eddie Jones sees the ball go in the basket, and this would cut an eight-point lead to five. Had Wallace hit a three, it could have gone to 11. So we'll check the... In the quarter, good pressure here by Miami. Here's Dang from center court. Five. Yes! LeBron James really gave up on the play right here. He ran right by Dang instead of pressuring him as he was getting ready to go up the court. But here's, here's what I think. I think he got out of the way because every play in the Boston series, Rajon Rondo would force his way into the defender and actually threw a couple of fouls. LeBron saw that. I think he's got to just get out of the way. Dang with a miracle. Darren Collison lost for the game. Here's Rose off the glass, right into the hands of Brewer. And the final seconds, Pacers better get it up in a hurry. And the oh! basket counts! The field goal counts. And Ford, coming in the game, banks it in from beyond midcourt to end the third quarter and ties the game at 67. They're going to check the replay. You kids at home that don't get time to play, always stay prepared. TJ Ford didn't play the other day in the game, gets his chance to play, knocks in the half-court wow. shot. Wow, TJ Ford, who had been with Milwaukee and Toronto in the playoffs previously, didn't think he'd be called upon tonight, but only because of an injury to Darren Collison. In any event, a three-point deficit for Golden State. They'll take it. At home. Considering they were down by nine, here is Baron Davis. He counts! He counts! A three! Baron Davis with a three! Does this crowd, trailing most of the way in the first half, tying it on Baron Davis's mid-court shot? He's with Pam Oliver. Deserves a big old. You know, Bridges, seven points, one assist, doesn't have a rebound. Three of ten from the field, one of six from downtown. You got to give so much credit to the defense. And Ginobili, lots of contact, puts it up. Oh, hey, he puts it in at half court. Ginobili nails.
steals it. And a huge bucket for San Antonio. Right on cue, Mano Ginobili has been struggling tonight with a dramatic finish to the third quarter. And a lot of contact there. Clearly he got it off in time. The Spurs have missed their last seven. Six swatted it away. Ross sees the clock and lets it go. And it hits! Field goal. This is the first half in dramatic fashion. The three-point backer gets it off in time, and the Cavs have their largest lead of the game so far. A poor defensive job that time from Detroit. Chance of MVP. Fredo just came on, inbounds to J.R. Smith. His shot is good! <laughs> J.R. Smith casually firing from the back. Stevenson up top to Kidd, throws it away. Final seconds, Chalmers gets it off in time. Oh, he puts it in! Mario Chalmers at the buzzer. And this one was not a backcourt violation. Chalmers able to put it in. Great pass by Miller. He had Kidd in front of him. And Chalmers able to knock it down. And that is the end. Oh! And, and for both players, you have to not care about your percentage. And that's good, Miller. That is good from one free throw line. Sit to down. 90 to 87. Monty McCutcheon hands to Joseph. They need a three to tie. Lowry, half court heave, a prayer at the buzzer. Oh! Kyle Lowry! He hits! Overtime in Toronto! in game one. So how about OKC? They even things at two apiece, at three thrown in at the end. We'll actually go to replay to make sure it counts. Full celebration about to begin for the fourth consecutive year. The Miami Heat are heading to the NBA Finals. First team in 27 years to accomplish the feat. The ball launches. The pool party has just begun. Flat out, get it done. Recognizing the clock dwindling down. Knocks down the long ball. Good old-fashioned game of pool. <laughs> Coming out, Siakam. Last shot's going to belong to Van Fleet. Gets it! That's how good it is for the defending champions. Wow. 
I tell you, just when you thought the Nets might have a little momentum going into the half, Van Vliet, he knew it was online the whole way. And you and I know a lot of guys will take that extra step so oh, yeah. the buzzer's already gone. Three. You're We're not going to be this percentage buster. Yeah, you ground that he takes. Malone with a 40-footer out front. Oh! Kyle Malone just inside of the timeline with an exclamation point to end the first quarter for the Utah. Long high dribble, cross control. It's blocked by White Blood and at the buzzer. Oh, oh it goes. The bank is open. Could the end of this first quarter gone it any better for Boston? Down 11. They finish 17 to 3 to close out the first. We see Brogdon right here letting the three go. And I see we got extended banking hours here in Boston. Malcolm Brogdon from 45 to punctuate the first. Draymond Green actually leaving the court. He's upset. Moran from half court. Foul! He puts it in! John Moran from half court at the buzzer! More Morant magic. It always pays to at least try those shots at the end of quarters. He has been spectacular here in the first half. 17 points for John Morant. Time running out, J.R. at the horn, he's going to get it, and he is going to have a count. Oh, can I get a witness? Puts up the three, off the mark, rebound Wiggins, he's got three seconds to get a shot off. Wiggins to Poole, Poole gets it off in time. Oh, he banks it in, he banks it in, they count it. Using every possible second, Wiggins wisely gets it to Poole, they're going to look at it. That's closer than it appeared in live action, but it, it looks like he got it off in time. It's out of his fingertips right there. That's going to count. What a wild sequence of events after a choppy first half, a thrilling. With a move on Delk, and Delk comes back to block it. Four seconds to get a shot off. McCarty from just inside half. Oh! The Celtics lead the league in three-pointers, but this is not exactly the sort of three they usually have in mind. But with no time on the clock, McCarty gives them the lead after one in a quarter just about as wide open as we expect the entire series to be, 31-28. If you're against McCarty, in a game of horse, I'm pretty sure right now you got an H. You know, that's a pretty big one right there. Wow. They shot at the horn! That's even bigger! That's even bigger! Take down down the other end. Five on four, Paul a three. Puts it in. Chris Paul knocks it down. And Kobe Bryant still down on the floor as they have. Oh, he puts it in at the buzzer! The three-pointer, it counts! Moved over, can play both sides, small or powerful. Oh, man, pretty shot over Muhammad. Two yeah. seconds remaining, Ginobili. That'll count if it goes. Oh, oh Ginobili banks yes. it at half court. Oh. The three-pointer. Nano Ginobili in dramatic fashion ending the first period. Mike, as he moves past us, he checked that shot clock before he released. That was just beautiful to watch. Now keep an eye on him here. They see he looked up right there. Set himself up and realized he had one more dribble. And just the perfect shot for Ginobili off the glass. And after that strong run by Phoenix. Half minutes, 26 in all. Gortat with one second remaining. Good job by Alston, who was under pressure, but got the ball to Gortat. And here's Mo Williams firing one. And score! three for two on that play. They gave the dunk to Gortat. How many times do you think he and LeBron after practice throw up these kind of shots? 
having fun. You know who used to be so good at that? Tim Hardaway was so good at those kind of shots. A lot of guys won't even take that shot because if you miss it, it counts as a missed field goal. But look at LeBron, the smile, and uh, that's a great... Will be the last shot, and knocked away, and... It, oh, goodness. Anything is possible. <laughs> And the lead is 88-85. Got to get a three up. Pistons need a three, and they have just under three seconds to do it. Here's Chauncey Phillips. Here it is. He's got it. He's got it. Chauncey Phillips hits the three. Overtime. Amazing. as Austin Crozier comes in for the Pacers. Now, Dale Davis out. Now with six tenths, you can still catch and shoot at three. It has to be a lob. So if you catch it here quickly and let it go, the shot will still count. Perkins to trigger it in. Jackson turns, fires, and hits! If you're the sort who believes in omens, mark that one down. The Pacers lead after one, 26-24. question I have is, why are they playing behind him defensively? Kobe just lets him catch the basketball. you got to get in front of him. And even though it's this kind of shot, this is what happens in some instances here with the long three-pointer. And they win the first quarter by two. A big sign here, Bob, for the Pacers. And look how clean it is. Swish. Well, the question was going to be, could they shoot in the Staples Center like they shot at Conseco? Well, that right there was as clean as it could possibly. By the time they get to half court, they must foul. They cannot risk it. This is both O'Neal the rebound. Kevin Alley brings it up. Throws it across. Miller for three. Oh, he backed it in. He backed it in. And the game is tied. We're going to overtime. You have to foul in that situation. Now the officials are concurring. Bob Delaney signaled yes. Joe Crawford now saying, with the other official checking it, and they say yes, it beat the buzzer. And Reggie Miller does it again. Kevin Ollie looked for no one other than his teammate, Reggie Miller. Let's take a listen. And again, a key, listen for the buzzer. That's very, very close. It's such a tough call when it's that close. You got to push here. You, you get a good shot. Green weaving, trying to get the shot up. No call that way. Curry flings it the other way. And he got it! What a turnaround! Curry the three! Now the fans are upset. The coaching staff from Memphis, very upset. They're calling security guys here to come down onto the floor right now because this guy, Green, he's going to get fouled right here. You're going to see it. All right, he gets fouled. He gets mugged. The call should have happened. And instead of you going and shooting two foul shots, a miraculous shot by Curry, the length of the floor for three. Curry got his left arm, uh, or rather Iguodala got his left arm on the ball on the shot attempt by Green. And how about Curry? From the other side, from 70 plus. Points at the half, they scored 39 in the fourth. Brooks banks it in at the horn. A rally by the Warriors. Van Exel with the last ditch effort, and it counts. It's a three by Nick Van Exel. So Wells gets a two because his foot was on the line, and Van Exel hits a three at the buzzer. Air ball, Devin Chenzo blocked by Davis. Final seconds, Reeves, it'll count if it goes. Oh, he puts it in from half court at the buzzer. The desperation launch. 
the NBA's best shot blocker. And then Reeves, three of his 13 points here in the first half, a dramatic end to the second quarter, and the Lakers back up by 10.